Hello pathetic human beings! Today I'll show you some pathetic changes that you should be already familiar with. So what's really new is that the pathetic GNOME developers pushed them to master. So everything you see will be available for fully patheticness in March. So the first thing since the last time we have in master, is the rounded corners on backgrounds. And notice these shadows that are also new. The second is the windows overflow. And I must say I didn't like either that much in the beginning, but now I think they work pretty well together. Still, there are some pull requests that may slightly change this behavior, so that's not very final. Another new thing that I haven't demoed that far, is the on-demand workspaces on startup. Opening the lolly shell for the demonstration. And now when we enter the overview the workspace's minimap will be hidden, until we use more than one desktops. That behavior is kinda similar to 338 release, and to be honest I don't really like it, and it doesn't really work pretty good either, but that's the idea anyway. Speaking of the things I don't like, there is this change that disables the mouse dragging of the shell workspaces. So basically we can't change workspaces like that, which was my favorite way of doing it. We still can use a scroll wheel, but not catch and drag. This change happened according to a user research, but when GNOME does user research, the NATO together with China and Russia are hosting a special event to laugh. In any case, the argument is that users instead of dragging the workspaces, could accidentally catch and drag a window. The point is valid to some extent, but after some use you get used to it, and I believe the drawbacks are more than the benefits. On the final chapter of this video I want to show you a feature that isn't currently on Master, but hopefully it will be available for GNOME 40. We are talking about creating custom app pages, but before let's see a very smart design concept. So we may can't drag the workspaces anymore, but do you see those next and previous desktops edges? Actually they act as next and previous buttons, and the same concept is also transferred to the app picker. Shell app picker might be a glorious mess, but still the idea is super. So when we place the cursor on the screen edge, we get a preview of the next page. And the opposite too. And the same will happen if we catch an icon, so Shell acknowledges we have additional pages to move it. Oh, and by the way, here we can still D&D, so the previous change also hugely breaks interaction design consistency. Anyway. So now we can finally create new pages. Or at least that was supposed to happen here. It doesn't work that great, or none at all. But once? I swear I managed it. And of course it will work for app folders too.